Hello, dear student. I am happy to provide lecture for you today. And I remind information about me. My name is Irina Kolomysova, and I am assistant of professor. And I hope you are okay and ready to listen lecture. So let's start and topic uh, today's lecture is leukemia, acute and chronic. So leukemia, a cancer of the blood forming tissue characterized by a large increase in the numbers of white blood cells, leukocytes, in the circulation of bone marrow. And you may see estimated new causes of leukemia, lymphoma, and myeloma in 2020. And what you see, myeloma meet in 18%, leukemia meet in 34%, and lymphoma in uh, 48%. And four time of leukemia. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia, acute myelogenous leukemia, chronic myeloblastic leukemia, chronic myelogenous leukemia. So, detail about acute myelogenous leukemia, AML is a clonal malignant disease of hematopoietic tissues that is characterized by first accumulation of abnormal blood cells principally is a marrow and second empire production of normal blood cells though the leukemic cell infiltration in marrow is accompanied nearly invariable by anemia and thrombocytopenia the absolute neutrophil count may be low or normal depending on the total white cells count. The first well-documented causes of acute leukemia is attributed to red rage, but Epstein was the first to use the term acute leukemia in 1889. This work led to the general appropriation of the clinical distinctions between AML and chronic myelogenous leukemia, CML. Since and symptoms uh, that signal the onset of AML include polo, fatigue, weakness, palpitation, and dysphonia on exertion. The scenes and symptoms reflect the development of anemia, however, weakness, loss of sense of well being, and fatigue on exertion can be disproportionate to the severity of anemia. Easy bruising, petechia, epistaxis, uh, gingival bleeding, conjunctival hemorrhage, and prolonged bleeding from the skin. Injures reflect thrombocytopenia and are frequent early manifestation of the disease. Very infrequently, gastrointestinal, genitourinary, bronchopulmonary, or uh, central nervous system bleeding occurs as an old set of disease. Pustules or other minor pyogenic infections of the skin and of minor cuts or wounds are most common. Minor infections such as sinusitis, pneumonia, pyonephritis, and meningitis are a common presenting features of the disease, partly because absolute neutrophil counts less than uh, 0.5 on 10 in 9 on a liter are uncommon until chemotherapy starts. Anoxia and weight loss are frequent findings. Fever in pre is present in many patients at the time of diagnosis. But 
splenomegaly or hepatomegaly occurs in approximately one quarter on patients. Lymphadenopathy is extremely uncommon except in the monocytic variant of AML. <coughs> Skin involvement may be on three types, non-specific lesions, leukemia cutis or granulocytic sarcoma of skin and subcutis. Non-specific lesions include macules, papules, vesicles, pioderma, gangrenosum, vasculitis, neutrophytic dermatitis, cutis, uh, vertical uh, gyrata and erythema multiform or nodosum. Skin involvement preceding marrow and blood involvement or replace occurs, but is rare. Sensory organ involvement is very unusual, but retinal, choroidal, iridal, and optic nerve infiltration can occur. Otitis externa and interna, inner ear hemorrhage, and mastoid tumors with seventh nerve involvement may be present in scenes. The gastrointestinal tract may be involved at any point by functional disturbances, disturbances un, unusual. The mouth, colon, and anal canal are sites of involvement that most commonly lead to symptoms. Oral manifestation may prompt the patient to visit the dentist. Gingival or periodontal infiltration and dental abscesses may lead to an extraction followed by prolonged bleeding on an infected tooth socket. Fever, abdominal pain, bloody diarrhea, or ileus may be present and occasionally mimic appendicitis. Intestinal perforation and inflammatory mass are associated infection with anterior gram negative bacilli of clostridial species often associated with a fatal outcome. Isolated involvement of the gastrointestinal tract is rare. The respiratory tract can be involved by infiltrate or tumor leading to pharyngeal obstruction, pharyngeal infiltrates, alveolar septal infiltration or pleural seeding. Cardiac involvement is frequent but rarely causes symptoms. The urogenital system can be affected. The kidney are infiltrated with leukemic cells in a higher proportion of causes, but functional abnormalities are rare. Osteoarticular symptoms may occur. Bone pain, joint pain, and bone necrosis can occur, and rarely arthritis with effusion is present. Central or peripheral nervous system in woman by infiltration of leukemic cells is very uncommon, although meningeal involvement is an important consideration in the treatment of the monocytic time of AML. Myeloid sarcoma is a tumor composed of myoblast, monoblast, and megakaryocytes. <clears throat> what about blood cell findings? First of all, anemia. Anemia is an almost constant future. Red cells fire span may be mild, short, shortened, but the principal cause of anemia in inadequate production of the red cells. The reticulocytes count usually is between uh, 0 0.5 and 2%. Occasionally, patients have rapid destruction of outer lodges and transfused red cells as a result of an unknown mechanism referred to as Mealy hemolysis. The presence of red cells antibodies is very uncommon. Thrombocytopenia is nearly always present at the time of diagnosis. The mechanism of thrombocytopenia is a combination of inadequate production and decreased survival of platelets. 
more than half of patients have a platelet count less than 50 at the time of diagnosis. The total leukocytes count in less than 5 on 10 in 9 on liter in approximately half of patients at the time of diagnosis. The absolute neutrophile scan is less than one more than half in causes of diagnosis. Patients with very elevated total leukocytes count have a low proportion of matching neutrophils, but may have a normal absolute neutrophil count. Myoblast almost are present in the blood, but may be infrequent is severely leukopenic patients. Classical leukemia block, blast cells are, are granular, but mixture of info, in major cells, including a granular and slightly granular cells ranging up to over granular sites can occur. What about plasma chemical findings? Uh, serum uric acid and lactic dehydrogenase levels are high in meal monocytic and monocytic ALM in other LMA phenotypes. Occasional patients have very elevated uric acid level, which usually occur and chemotherapy in proper precaution are not taken. Abnormalities of sodium, potassium, calcium, or hydrogenion concentration are infrequent and usually mild. Severe hyponatremia associated with inappropriate antidiuretic hormone secretion has occurred at presentation. Severe hyponatremia is a consequence of diabetes in cepidus can be an additional event. Hypokalemia is more frequent finding as presentation is related to cholecheresis. Also, the reason for the proximal renal tubular dysfunction is unclear. Fastidious elevation is serum potassium level have been reported in patients with hyperleukocytosis as, as a result of the leakage from white cell in vitro. The presence of hypercalcemia in multifactorial podcasts with increased ectopic paratogormone like activity in the plasma has been described. Severe lactic acidosis prior to treatment has been reported. Hypophosphatemia as a result of phosphate uptake by leukemic cells can occur. Also, prothrombin and partial prothromboplastic times usually are normal or near normal. Abnormal concentration of coagulation factor are frequent. Elevation of platelets factor 4 and thromboxane B2 occur often. Decreases is alpha 2 antiplasmin protein C and antithrombin 3 levels are frequent and may be associated with venous thrombosis. Bone marrow finding. Uh, the marrow always contains leukemic blast cells. Myoblasts are distinguished from lymphoblasts by any of three pathognomic futures reactivity with specific histochemical stains. Our roots in the cells or reactivity with a panel of monoclonal antibodies against epitose present on myeloblast. Normal erythropoiesis, megacaryopsitopoiesis, and granulopoiesis are decreased on absent in the marrow aspirate. The biopsy may contain residual islands or erythroblast or megacaryocytes. Dysmorphic change is hematopoietic cells, including very small or large erythroblasts with nuclear fragmentation or binucleation or de delayed nuclear consideration. Increased blood vessel density 
is present in the marrow of patient with AML compared to normal subject, uh, subjects. And on uh, those picture, you may see uh, what is MLA blast on uh, histology. And uh, what morphologic variant of acute myelogenous leukemia? So, acute myeloblastic leukemia. Approximately 25% of MLA cases have the future or acute myeloblastic leukemia, a variant in which the leukemic myeloblast in the prodominant cell in the marrow. <clears throat> Next variant, acute myelomonocytic leukemia. And uh, next, acute erythropoietic leukemia. Next, acute promyocytic leukemia. Uh, acute monocytic leukemia. Acute megacaryocytic leukemia. Acute eosinophilic leukemia and acute basophilic and mast cell leukemia. And my request for you, please uh, read uh, with details uh, about every this variant yeah? uh, on this slide for variant and on this slide for variant two. Please read and remember. So, and treatment of acute myeloid leukemia. Induction therapy is younger patient and older fit patients. Various acceptable induction regimen are available. The most common approach, three and seven, consists of three days of an uh, 15 to 30 minutes infusion of an anthracycline or uh, anthocyanidine combined with 100 200 milligram in a square meter of citarabine as a uh, 24 hour infusion daily for seven days. Traditional doses have been as follows. Ida rubicin, uh, 12 mg in square meter a day for three days. Dauna rubicin, uh, 45 90 mg a uh, square meter a day for three days. Uh, Mitoxantron, 12 mg uh, in a square meter a day for three days. Remission induction therapy and principles. The uh, cytotoxic therapy of MLA dressed off to tenets. First, two competing population of cells are present in marrow, a normal polyclonal and leukemic monoclonal population. And second, profound separation of the leukemic cells to the point that in apparent in the marrow aspirate and biopsy is required to permit restoration of polyclonal hematopoiesis. Also, there's two principles holding most cases to deri deviation from these guidelines are the predisposition of patient with APL to anti permission despite cellular post-therapy marrow and the rare presence of monoclonal hematopoiesis in some cases of AML during remission. <clears throat> and the goal of induction therapy is MLA is achievement of complete remission, a natrophil count greater than 1,000 microliter and platelets come greater than 100,000 microliter. For outer 
Adults with newly di diagnosed MLA consider candidates for intensive anti-leukemia therapy. Intensive anti-leukemia therapy or less intensive anti-leukemia therapy is suggested. Medication used. And what is it? Antineoplastics. Antineoplastic agents are used for induction or consolidation therapy. This agent inhibits cells growth and differentiation. They include citarabin, daorubicin, idarubicin, and metoxantron. Next, antineoplastic tyrosine kinase inhibitor. Antineoplastic Enter GOF pass inhibitor, uh, BCL2 inhibitor, IDH inhibitors. So, next variant of leukemia chronic myelogenous leukemia. Chronic myelogenous leukemia, also known as chronic myeloid leukemia, is a myeloproliferative disorder characterized by increased proliferation of the granulocytic cells lined without the law of their capacity of differentiate. Consequently, the peripheral blood cells profile shows an increased number of granulocytes and their image. Recursor, including occasional blood cell, CML account for 20% of all leukemias affecting adults. See the image below. <clears throat> uh, scenes and symptoms of chronic myoblastic leukemia. The clinical manifestation of CML are insidious. The disease discovered incidentally in the chronic phase when an elevated blood white blood cells count is revealed, revealed by a routine blood count or when an enlarged spleen is found and general physical examination. Non-specific symptoms of fatigue and weight loss may occur long after the onset of disease. Loss of energy and decreased exercise tolerance may occur during the chronic phase after several months. Patients often have symptoms related to enlargement of the spleen liver on both. The large spleen may be an roach on the stomach and cause early satiety and decreased food intake. Left upper quadrant abdominal pain described as gripping may occur from spleen infarction. The enlarged spleen may also be associated with hypermetabolic state, fever, uh, weight loss, and chronic fatigue. The enlarged liver may contribute to the patient weight loss. Some patients with uh, CML have low-grade fever and excessive sweating related to hypermetabolism. In some patients, the presence of accelerate or acute leukemia phase of the disease, bleed, bleeding, petechia, and ecchymosis may be prominent symptoms. In this situation, fever is usually associated with infection, bone pain, fever, as well as an increase in bone marrow fibrosis, or uh, harbinger of the blast pass. Splenomegaly is a more common physical finding in patients with chronic myelogenous leukemia. As the size of the spleen correlates with a peripheral blood granulocytes count with the large spleens being observed in patients with high white blood cells count. Very large spleening mm -hmm. usually is hard being of the transformation in an acute blood crisis from other disease. Could be present lymphadenopathy and extramedular disease.
<clears throat> and uh, phases of uh, chronic myelogenous leukemia. What may be chronic phase? The blood and bone marrow contain less than uh, less than ten percent blood. Accelerated phase. There is no single definition of accelerated phase. However, most patients with the phase of CML have ten percent to eight nineteen percent blood. In both the blood and bone marrow, or more than 20% by the fields in peripheral blood. <clears throat> blast phase, also called blast crises. In the blast phase, there are 20% or more blast in the blood or bone marrow. It is difficult to control the number of white uh, blood cells. <clears throat> And especially acted lymphoblastic leukemia for about 25% of patients of acute myeloid leukemia for most patients. And resi uh, resistant chronic myelogenous leukemia is chronic myelogenous leukemia that has come back after treatment or doesn't respond to treatment. And what is uh, about uh, blood cells binding? In uh, CML, the increase in major granulocytes and normal lymphocytes count result in the total white blood cells count of 20,000, 60,000 cells uh, microliter. A mild increase in both fields and eosinophils is present and becomes more prominent during the trans transition to acute leukemia. This major neutrophils or granulocytes have decreased apoptosis, resulting in the accumulation of long clip cells with low or absent enzymes, such as alkaline phosphatase. Consequently, the leukocytes Alkaline phosphatide stains very low to absent to most cells, resulting in a low score. The peripheral blood smear in patients with CML shows a typical Laker retroblastic blood picture with circulating immature cell from the bone marrow. And about bone marrow finding. The bone marrow is hyper, hypercellular with marked myeloid hyperplasia. Granulopiasis is dominant with a granulocytic to erythritoid ratio between uh, 10 to 1 and 30 to 1, rather than the normal 2 to 1 and uh, uh, 2 to 4 to 1. Erythropoiesis usually is decreased and megakaryocytes are normal or increase in number. Eosinophils and basophils may be increased, usually in proportion to the increase in the blood. Mitotic figures are increased in number. Meroblasts are 5% always, with expansion of the myeloid cells line and its progenitor cells. Megacaryocytes are prominent and may be increased. Mild fibrosis is often seen in the reticulum stain. Increased reticulum fibrosis in uncommon with 30-40% of patients demonstrated grade 3 for reticulum fibrosis. Cytogenetic study of the bone marrow cells and even peripheral blood should reveal the typical a Philadelphia 1 chromosome with a periprocal trans, uh, translocation of chromosome material between chromosomes 9 and 22. In addition, the hemeric BCR ABL messenger mRNA that characterizes a chronic myelogenous leukemia can be detected by polymerase chain reaction and overview of treatment 
the goals of treatment of chronic myelogenesis, uh, myelogenesis of leukemia are threefold and have changed markedly in the past 10 years, and they are false. Hematologic remission, cytogenetic remission, and molecular remission, which represent an attempt for cure and prolongation of patient survival. Initial cytoreduction therapy. A tyrosine kinase inhibitor therapy is now used an initial therapy in patients with CML in causes when the white cells count in markedly elevated hydroxyurea can be used prior to or in conjunction with a tyrosine kinase inhibitor. You wrap it. Uh, site reduction is required because of scenes of the hyperleukocytic syndrome, leukophoresis, and hydroxyurea often are combined. And leukophoresis can control CML only temporarily. Uh, and for the reason is really used in the chronic phase. CML and use useful is only two types of patient. The hyperlycosetic patient in whom rapid cytoreduction can resolve symptoms and scenes of leukostasis and the pregnant patient, pregnant patient with CML. Hydroxyurea, uh, one to six milligram uh, a day orally, depending on the height of the white cells count, can be used to initiate uh, elective therapy. Anagrelin can be used for platelet reduction in a patient who present with elevated platelet count. Interferon alpha. In the past, interferon alpha was by the treatment of choice for the most with uh, CML who were too old for bone marrow transplantation or who did not have a much bone donor. With the advanced uh, to tyrosine kinase inhibitor, interferon alpha is not longer considered a first line therapy for CML. Next, adjunct uh, old drugs. The citarabine, uh, interferon alpha, uh, combined with citarabine in the chronic phase was associated with a great portion of MCYIS at 12 months and with greater cerebral prolongation uh, that was IFN alone. Next agent. Bu, uh, sulfan. Once the main state of treatment for the chronic phase, bisulfan usage now is rare. Other cytotoxic agents. Intensive multidrug regimen have been used in an attempt to eradicate the uh, Philadelphia chromosome positive clone and occasionally have led to prolongation of remission of cure of the disease. Splenectomy does not prolong the chronic phase of CML, delay the onset of the accelerated phase, enhance sensitivity to uh, TKIs of chemotherapy or prolong cerebral patient, of patient. And transplantation. Allogeneic bone marrow transplantation or stem cell transplantation in currently uh, used uh, for um, patients with um, chronic myelogenous leukemia. Ideally, it should be performed as a chronic phase of the disease rather than a transformation phase or in blast crisis. Candidates patients should be offered the procedure if they have a match of single antigen mismatch-related donor available. 
In general, young patient are far better than older patient. And next variant of leukemia, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, is a neoplastic disease that results from multi-step somatic mutation in a single lymphoid progenital cells at one of several discrete stages of development. Uh, the immune phenotype of leukemic cells at diagnosis reflects the level of differentiation achieved by the dominant clone. Symptoms and symptoms, patient with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, leukemia ALL, present with scenes and symptoms relating to direct infiltration of the marrow of our other organ by leukemic cells. All these scenes and symptoms related to the decreased production of normal marrow elements. Fever is one of the most common scenes of ALL and patient with L L ALL often have fever without any other evidence on infection. Patient with ALL often have decreased neutrophil counts regardless of whether their total white blood cells count is low, normal or elevated. Symptoms of anemia are common and include fatigue, dizziness, palpitation, dyspnea, upon even mild excursion. Other patients present with bleeding, which can be a result of thrombocytopenia due to marrow replacement. Some patients present with palpable lymphadenopathy. Other, particularly those with T cells, ALL, present with symptoms related a large mediastinomas, as, such as shortness of breath. Infiltration in the marrow by massive number of leukemic cells frequently manifest as bone pain. This pain can be severe and is often atypical in distribution. Although patient may present with symptoms of leukostasis because of the presence of large number of lymphoblasts in the peripheral circulation. <coughs> Physical examination. Patient with ALL commonly have physical uh, scenes of anemia, including power and cardiac flare murmur. Fever and other scenes uh, of infection, including lung finding of pneumonia, can also occur. Fever should be interrupted as evidence of infection, even in the absence of other scenes. Patient with thrombocytopenia usually demonstrate petechia, particularly on the lower extremities. A large number of ecchymoses is usually an indicator of a coexisting coagulation disorder, such as disseminating intravascular coagulation. Since related to organ infiltration with the leukemic cells and to lesser degree lymphadenopathy may be present. Occasionally, patients have be rashes uh, that result from infiltration of the skin with leukemic cells. The following studies are produced, are used in the work up for acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Complete blood cell. Uh, with uh, mm, peripheral smear coagulation studies, chemistry profile including liver and car kidney function, bone marrow aspiration and biopsy, culture in particular blood culture, chest radiography, chest computer tomography scan, multiplying gates, excursion scan or echocardiogram and a lumbar puncture. And uh, blood cells finding, peripheral blood count and differential count from a right 
uh, them sustain blood smear are essential at the time of presentation. The white blood cells count in about 40% of ALL, ALL patients in reduced or normal. One uh, third of the patient have a moderately increased initial white blood cells count between, uh, between 10 uh, 15 uh, in uh, uh, 10 in 9 on liter. Lacaming blood cells in the peripheral blood are largely responsible for the rise in white blood cells count, but it is not costly than it 8% of the ALL patient. No circulating lacaming blood cells are absorbed. Peripheral blood observation shows characteristic anemia, thrombocytopenia, and neutropenia. And reduction in the level of hemoglobin is usually mild to moderate, but nearly one third of the patient have a hemoglobin level less than 7-8 gram a deciliter. A plate slate count below the critical number of 20 on 10 in 9 on liter is seen uh, in the one fifth of the ALL patients. And bone marrow aspirates are important for immunological, cytogenetic, and genomic marker. Uh, direct smears from the bone marrow are essential to confirm the diagnosis of acute leukemia and to distinguish between AML and ALL. So between uh, yeah, uh, myelogenic uh, leukemia and lymphoblastic leukemia. The bone marrow is usually heavily packed with leukemia blood cells comparison more than 90% of the nucleated cells in 70% of patients. The normal hemopoietic elements are greatly reduced or absent. A biopsy of the bone marrow will further demonstrate marked hypercellularity with replacement of fat spaces and normal elements by infiltration with leukemia cells. Imaging in findings, for example, chest radiograph may reveal seen of pneumonia and or a prominent mediastinal mass in some cases of CT cell circuit lymphoblastic leukemia. Computer tomography can, can further define the degree of lymphadenopathy in some patients, including those with the mediastinal masses. <clears throat> Minimal residual disease is a detection of residual leukemia cells not recognizable by light microscopy. Methods for determining uh, MRD are based on the detection of leukemia specific aberrant immunophenotypes by flow cytometry. The evaluation of leukemia-specific rearranged immunoglobulin <coughs> of T cells receptor sequences by real-time quantitative polymerase chase reaction for the detection of fusion genes uh, associated with chromosome abnormalities. <coughs> Molecular responses can be evaluated only for patients in complete cytological remission with one marker on more than MRD analysis and sample available at diagnosis and forward a specific time point during the course of disease. <clears throat> and on the Right, you may see table with response parameter according uh, to minimal original disease, and you may see terminology and definition of this terminology. 
please read, remember. <clears throat> And treatment, uh, this variant of leukemia. Traditionally, the four component of ALL treatment are reduced uh, consolidation, maintenance, and central nervous system prophylaxis. Uh, the overall survival is 36% with a wide variation from 27 to 60% due to <coughs> differences and the intensity of the chemotherapy regimen and the outcomes of stem cell transplantation. Patients with ALL require hospital admission for induction chemotherapy, <coughs> and they require red emission for consolidation chemotherapy <coughs> or for the treatment of toxic effect of chemotherapy. Surgical intervention may be required for the placement of central venous catheter, such as triple lumen, Brovik, and Hickman catheter. And induction therapy, standard induction therapy typically involves the four drugs regimen on vincristine, prednisolone, androcycline, and cyclo, cyclo uh, all alpha as asparaginase or five drug regimen or vincristine, prednisolone, anthracycline, cyclophosphamide, and alpha asparaginase given over the course of four six weeks. Using the approach, complete remissions are obtained in 65-85 of patients. <laughs> and consolidation therapy, because most studies have shown the benefit of the consolidation therapy, regimens using a standard four to five drugs induction usually include consolidation therapy with RAC in combination with the anthracycline or apidophilotoxin. Patients who receive hyper CVAD induction receive alteration cycles of high dose metatrexout, high dose ARAC, and hyper CVAD a consolidation therapy. <coughs> Maintenance therapy. <coughs> Maintenance therapy use, uh, usually consists of six mercatipulin and mesotipulin metatrexat a strategy, strategy uh, transferred from childhood ALL. Maintained therapy can also consist of pregnenolone, vincristine, metatrexat, and mercatopurin. <clears throat> and prophylaxis of central nervous system leukemia. In contrast to patients with acute myeloid, Leukemia patients with acute lymphoblastic leukemia frequently have meningeal leukemia at the time of relapse. A minority of patients have meningeal disease at the time of initial diagnosis. <clears throat> As a result, central nervous system prophylaxis with intra uh, uh, chemotherapy is essential. Prophylaxis uh, central nervous system therapy is uh, in ALL is essential for several reasons. Uh, central nervous system leukemia is more easily prevented than treated once CNS leukemia have de has developed is generally followed by systemic replays shortly after. An effective central nervous system prophylaxis are prevent systemic relapse. And several treatment options are available for, for prevention of 
central nervous system rollups, intracycle therapy, cranial radiation therapy, and systemic high dose of intracycle therapy is usually based of methotrexate, a single drug, but combination with cytokine, arabinocyte, and glucocorticosteroid are used in some studies. The road of application in general lumbar puncture. <clears throat> and stem cell transplantation. Hematopoietic stem cell transplantation is an essential part in the treatment strategy of adults ALL. As stem cell source, peripheral blood cells are inclusively used compared to bone marrow. Also, with regard to the donors, there is a shift from sibling donor to much unrelated donors or have to identify transplant from rel uh, relatives. Indication for stem cells uh, transplantation is a first remission or controversial. <clears throat> and uh, next and last variant uh, of leukemia, chronic lymphoblastic leukemia, is a monoclonal proliferation of major B uh, lymphocytes definite uh, by an absolute number of malignant uh, cells in the blood. The presence of malignant B cells under has this count in the blood without nodal spleen or liver involvement and absent cytopenia uh, is a precursor of the disease called monoclonal B cells lymphocytes, MBL, with 1-2% chance per year of progressing to over CLL. <clears throat> and staging of uh, this variant of leukemia. There are two widely used staging systems is CLL. The rise staging system is used more common in the United States, whereas the BNET system is more uh, commonly used in Europe. Both characterized CLA of the basic of the disease bulk and marrow fail. Both rarely on physical examination and laboratory studies and do not require imaging of bone marrow analysis. And you may see on this table staging of uh, chronic leukemia, uh, myo, uh, lymphoblastic leukemia. Yeah, A raw staging system, um, stage uh, zero, stage uh, one two and stage uh, three, four. And BNET staging system, stage A, B, C. So please read this information. And signs and symptoms. Patient with chronic lymphocytic leukemia present uh, with a wide different uh, symptoms and uh, scenes. Onset in insidious and is not unusual for CLL to be discovered is uh, incidentally after a blood cell scan is performed for another reason. And watch lymph nodes are the most common presenting symptoms seen in 80 percent of patients symptomatic at time of diagnosis. A predisposition uh, to repeated infections such as pneumonia, herpes simple, slabialis, and herpes zoster may be known. Easily, uh, early uh, satiety and uh, or abdominal discomfort may be related to an enlarged spleen. Uh, mucocutaneous bleeding and or may be due to thrombocytopenia, 
tiredness and fatigue may be present secondary to anemia. 10% uh, of patients with CLL will present with autoimmune hemolytic anemia. So, in addition to localized or generalized lymphadenopathy, patients may manifest the following splenomegaly, hepatomegaly, petechia, and pallor. One of the most devastating complications of CLL is richer transformation, transformation of CLL to an aggressive lymphoma. <laughs> Clinical genes of Richter's transformation include rapid progression in adenopathy, often is a specific area and constitutional symptoms including fatigue, night sweets, fever, and weight loss. <clears throat> And about blood cell findings, the complete blood count with differential shows absolute lymphocytosis <clears throat> with more than uh, 5,000 uh, B lymphocytes on microliter. Lymphocytosis must persist for longer than three months. <clears throat> Colonarity must be confirmed by flow cytometry. The presence of a cytopenia caused by clonal bone marrow involvement established the diagnosis of CLA uh, regardless of the peripheral B lymphocytes count. Microscopic examination of the peripheral blood smear is indicated to confirm lymphocytosis. <clears throat> It usually shows the presence of smudge cells depicting the smudge below, which are artifact from lymphocytes damage during the slide preparation. <clears throat> and bone marrow finding. Uh, bone marrow aspiration and biopsy with flow cytometry is not required in all cases of CLL, but it may be necessary in selected cases to establish the diagnosis and to assess other complicated future, such as anemia and thrombocytopenia. <clears throat> For example, bone marrow examination may be necessary to distinguish between thrombocytopenia or peripheral destruction and the due to the marrow infiltration. Consider a lymph node biopsy if lymph node begin to enlarge rapidly is a patient with known SLL to assess the possibility of transformation and higher grade lymphoma when such transformation is accompanied by fever, weight loss, pain, and a germ richer syndrome. <clears throat> and physician uh, may uh, use PET computer tomography and histopathological future for lymph node biopsy specimen involved by chronic lymphocytic leukemia. <clears throat> and treatment in patient with chronic lymphoblastic leukemia. Patient with uh, this variant of leukemia do not need drug therapy until they become symptomatic of display evidence for rapid progression of disease as characterized by the following. Weight loss for more than 10% of six months, extreme fatigue, fever related to leukemia for longer than two weeks, night sweets for longer than one month, progressive marrow failure, autoimmune anemia or thrombocytopenia not responding to glucocorticosteroids, progressive or symptomatic splenomegaly, massive or symptomatic lymphadenopathy, progressive 
lymphocytosis as defined by an increase of more than 50% in two months or a doubling time of less than six months. <clears throat> and what use monoclonal antibodies given alone or in combination with chemotherapy were the first targeted therapies to the successful in CLL. Anti-CD20 monoclonal antibodies include erituximab, opatumab, and obinutuzumab are all used in this disease. Next, drugs B cell receptor signaling inhibitor. Three specific targets were the first identified spleen tyroxine kinase, phosphor inositid 3 kinase, and Bruton's tyrosine kinase. <clears throat> Next, drugs uh, Himeric antigen receptor T cells therapy. Uh, this therapy is a novel treatment in which the patient T cells are correlated via blood sample and transport in the laboratory so that they will recognize any specific antigen on the surface of cancer cells, attack the cancer cells, and proliferate it in vivo. The CRA T cells are then grows in large quantity and infused into the patient. Next therapy is immune therapy. Current immune therapies include allogenic stem cell transplantation, hemeric antigen receptor T cells therapy, and oral immunomodularity agent SARS and lenalidomide. And next. Variant of treatment is splenoectomy. Refractory splenomegaly and pancytopenia is a common problem in patients with advanced CLL. Occasionally, this patient requires splenectomy. <clears throat> so, thank you for your attention. I hope uh, you are listening me and you have interest for this uh, lecture and uh, see <clears throat> with you on next uh, week and good luck and goodbye dear student. <laughs>